Sam Walkup being named in the Queensland Maroons squad. How does that feel? Yeah, it's really special. I think, um, you know, it's always been a dream to um, you know, represent Queensland and, um, you know, just to be a part of this squad and, uh, you know, sort of learn as much as I can this week um, with the preparation and everything that goes in towards, um, you know, a state of origin game. It'll be, yeah, it'll be really special for me. Is getting the call up something that was on your radar for this year? Um, I think at the start of the year, I was sort of just trying to play as good as footy as I could and I knew the way I wanted to play footy and I think I wasn't really looking too far ahead. I was sort of just uh, believed in the way that I played footy and that's sort of what my, my goal was at the start of the year. Tell me about your phone call from Billy. Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty short really. I, I was, almost didn't answer the call, I didn't have the number saved so I was, I was hesitating just leaving the call and calling back later and then end up yeah, picking it up and when he said it was, I was kind of a bit of, bit of a shock and yeah, no, it was really special to sort of get that call and get told I'm coming to the squad. It was, yeah, I couldn't really believe it. And yeah, I pretty much called my old man and my mum straight away and, you know, they were, they were stoked. What did they have to say to you? Yeah, they were um, just really proud, I think. Um, they, um, they've sort of been there for, you know, a fair few years, watched me play footy now, so they've, you know, seen what I've had to go through and, yeah, I think they're just, just really proud and happy, um, yeah, for me. Obviously, having come from a very famous rugby league family, but also a family well entrenched in the Maroons culture. What did they all have to say to you? Yeah, I think my uncle was pretty, probably more excited than I was almost <laughs> about, about me getting the call. Yeah, no, he was, he was stoked. Um, yeah, the whole family really proud and, um, you know, messages from, you know, every single one of them came in and phone calls and, um, yeah, no, was, yeah, I think it was, you know, it's, yeah, not just for myself, but just for my whole family and my friends and um, everyone involved is, yeah, really special for everyone. Did they have any advice for you coming into camp? No, nah, not really. They just, yeah, I you know, just said enjoy it and, you know, I didn't really know what to expect sort of coming in and um, the boys have been really welcoming and so the coaching staff, so I've really enjoyed my time so far. And State of Origin as a kid, what did that look like in your household? Yeah, I think everyone was sort of dressed up, you know, it was a, an event where everyone, you know, if you had training or you'd miss, you'd miss your training, so it was, you know, those that, that probably three, those three games of the, the um, the time when the whole family would sort of get together and it didn't matter what you had on or where, where everyone was, everyone was tuned in and watching, watching State of Origin. So, um, you know, to be part of the squad and, you know, be able to experience it firsthand is, yeah, something I've always dreamt of. Was there anyone in particular who you looked up to? Uh, I think uh, there's, there's, too, there's probably too many to sort of even, even think about right now. You know, it was that period when they won all those series in a row, there's you know, some of the players that team were, you know, um, I really looked up to you know, as I was coming through through the ranks. Having played in Ipswich and for Queensland under 18s, you're no stranger to to what it means to wear that colour. Tell me what it means to you. Yeah, no, it's yeah, it's really special to represent, you know, my hometown Ipswich out there, um, my family and, um, you know, still some of my best mates that still live out that way. So, um, you know, to represent sort of my area there and the whole state of Queensland, you know, it's something really special for me and, um, Jesus. <laughs> um, yeah, that's no, something that I'll um, you know, cherish forever. Is there anyone in particular who you're looking forward to working with this week in camp? Well, Kurt Capewell, he's uh, sort of a family friend of mine from back home, so you know, really looking forward to working with him this week and um, having Lindsay in here as well, fellow Roosters boy, is um, yeah, pretty special as well. Fantastic. Well, enjoy, Sam. Enjoy the week. Thank you. Thanks, guys.